Welcome to the twelfth video of any resources how to make a browser based in more. This is Halls of Valhalla. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot through this video not too fast but here's where we're going to start bringing in a lot of good things into the game. A lot of things I've promised we're all going to tie in the next couple videos and really start to make this this game shine. We're going to work on magic. Uh, we're not going to finish magic in this video but we are going to work on it and get it started. What I've done is I've added a spell trainer in the locations and he gives you depending on your class and your level he gives you what's available you can train. Also, I've added a little a, a little section on the back end that you can actually go in and add your spells. And, and let's start with that. First thing we want to do is let's create a new table and call it spells. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. Oh, that was store. I'm going to go ahead and open up spells. And uh, this is where we're actually going to place the spells. Not this is where we're going to place the spells that that a player can learn. It's not necessarily the spells they know, but the ones that they can learn. This way, you can go into the database. And later on, we'll make a GM table where you can go in and add your own. But for now, here's where you can go in. And I may already made two spells: one called Wizard, one for the Wizard, and one for the Warrior, Fear Strike, and Light Fireball. Your tables or your fields are going to be ID, S class. You never want to name anything like class or or like experience with EXP because it will cause issues. So I put S class for spell class because that will cause issues later on if you just left it class. Uh, level, price, type, name. S value because value may cause an issue so S value and S cost uh, that's spell value like the damage it may do or healing and S cost is how many spell points it takes and uh, I just went in here and filled out they're both type combat because we're gonna have healing combat and so on the price it costs to actually buy them or to be trained in them and the level you're, that's required being that my character is a level one warrior this is why this is the only one that shows up is because Let's go to open up our context. And I've already got all mine open here, so we don't have to open. But the first thing we want to do is go to index, and I'll just show you. I put in here uh, a link going to the spell trainer, and it's under spelltrainer.php. Open up our spell trainer, and we do our standard. All this up here, oh, they're not counter. All this up here is going to be standard in about every single one of them, so we're not even going to go over that. But I did make a new, this is a lot like the store table, except for I changed it to spells where S class equals player 3 P class. This is something else I've also added new. Under players, I I don't know how I've forgotten this or nobody mentioned it, but we never added the class to the players. So I went ahead and put that in and once again I didn't want the name class just being in there, so I named it P class. And with that, go ahead and add that to your to your players and go into reg user or actually yeah, reg user and make sure whenever whenever it goes to insert into players at the very end we add that's supposed to be P class uh, we put P class and then we do the query for the P class which actually class query should be name I goofed up there yeah that should be name uh, anyway it'll be fixed on yours but you want P class and then your name there. Let me save that. And that way it actually puts it in when you first register. Uh, moving on, let's go back to our spell trainer. And then basically I just put built out the table that we're seeing here. You know, the name and, and then it fills it out. It's pretty simple stuff. But at the end I put train spell and, and then it goes to trainspell.php and you guys should already understand that and then in train spell once again we got the same old stuff except for I put I made sure on spell trainer so we knew what spell the, the person was clicking we did our get method and we put in the ID and that's the spell info ID so basically we just took the ID from from the spells and we passed it over so that way we can collect it in spell trainer or train spell and just get SID and then that way when we select all from our spells we just do where ID equals SID that way we get the same spell uh, so once that spell is is picked we have to watch out for cheaters they're gonna try to put in that ID of, of something else so the first thing we want to do is if spell info 3 level is greater than the player's level then they shouldn't be able to train it we're gonna put you're not high enough level so they go in there and try to put a number that doesn't belong like uh, a level of a spell they can't have it's gonna catch them and the same thing with gold and the price if you don't have enough money if you're not the right class it's gonna go ahead and tell you 
Um, the one thing that we're we are not going to fix now, but we will fix later, is to where it won't even show you when you go to pick pick the spell. Say I've already got Fire Strike, which I do. It's not even going to give you this option, but it's too much to do right now. It's going to be a four loop, and I'm not ready to get into that just yet. But we will get into that. But uh, anyway, here I just call out the. I'm basically just making variables for our spell info three here, and then I do a uh, insert into player magic, which I made a new, a brand new table and called it player magic. This is where we're going to store all the player spells, and we can store them all the different players with all their different spells because we're going to put PID as the player ID. So if the next player, say player seven, comes in and he gets a spell, it's going to say player ID se seven. And it's going to have it all. And when we go to pull the information for the player for what spells he knows, we're going to pull it by player ID equals six. So anyway, that's I just made it PID, spell ID, the name, the level, the type, the S value, and the S cost. Because we don't need any of the other junk. We don't need the class or anything because we already know what his class is. So I just did an insert into player magic, PID, SID, which is what I showed you. And then the values, the values I made right here. So that way it puts all the information in there for us. And then we want to minus the gold from the player, so I did an update player, update player set gold equals gold minus the, the S price. And that way, where name equals P name, and I, I've made a variable up here with P name. For some reason, I don't know if it's context or what it is, but I'm having a big issue with putting this, like, this type of variable into here. I don't have this problem with Dreamweaver, or maybe it's the PHP version I'm running on this local server, I'm not sure, but I'm having to do with this method, which is fine, it works the same. And then we just do an echo name learn successfully. Now I've already already know that spell, but we haven't set a fix, so I'm just going to show you when I hit train spell, we've learned it and go back. And I'm going to end up having two versions of it. But now when we go to battle in arena, I've added a new variable here called use magic, and I mean a, a a new link, and that's pretty easy to figure out how I did that. When we click on use magic, it now displays the magic we have and then when you click on use magic it's not gonna work because we're not ready for that yet we're gonna do that in another video but w when you do click it then we're gonna go into our if it's a combat or a healing or however else and uh... It, this displays your information that way when you're fixing a fight you can know which which spell you want to use this is basic super easy stuff if you notice it also minus the gold uh... we are gonna get more advanced as we go on in the video but this is a real good start for a real good magic system.